I decided to clear my backlog of dead microwaves and take out all the pieces that I usually keep. So this is what I got. There was five microwaves that I took apart. So I've got five reasonable amperage power cables, all with nice molded plugs on them that I can put whatever I want on the other end. A ton of screws. Lots and lots of micro switches, which I've got an idea for a tactile display I'm probably going to use those for. Lots of little thermal cutout switches. Not entirely what I'm going to, sure what I'm going to use those for. They're a little bit low range for the, some of the stuff I do. Uh, but one of them actually had this, which is not a cutout. It's actually the proper three-wire sensor. So I'm going to have a probe of that. And uh, that should be quite a good little score. Various pieces of wire. These little power conditioner boards that come into the input of the thing. Um, a lot of front panel boards, which a number of them come with these little transformers on them, usually rated around 16 volts or so. And then there's a couple of relays on there, which are usually reasonably high amperage. Uh, it's about all from those boards. This one's got a seven segment display. And again, a nice little transformer on the back there. Oh, a piezo speaker. Um, again, a couple of relays, a big one, a little one on this one. Often they're both large relays. It's again got a display and quite a chunky relay there. Another little transformer. And this one has a rotary encoder on it. Which, that could come in useful for something. Let's just see the three contacts for it under there. So I'm pricking it's going to be just a standard grayscale unit. Yeah, that should be it's a bit of a score. And of course, the capacitors, the high voltage fuse enclosure, as uh, a high voltage diode, the magnetrons, which I've been taking the magnets out of, but I'm going to ha have a play with a couple of these in their entire state. And yeah, five new microwave oven transformers to play with. Score!